Hello and welcome to another video by Enterprise Software Solutions, your number one software dudes. Please remember to subscribe to our channel for the latest videos and updates. And today we're going to talk about how you can get started with Office 365, specifically an E3 license in your environment. So go ahead and hit the link in the video description. It's going to take you to this sign-in page. So this is a direct sign-up to get an E3 license, which is you know, your standard middle-of-the-road license. It includes your Office Suite, so Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. And then along with the additional functionality Office 365 provides, so SharePoint Online, Teams, Yammer, OneDrive, Exchange Online. Go ahead and sign up with an email address in your environment. And you'll see that you'll do check to see if you already have an existing agreement set up with the domain in Microsoft and it'll create a new account. You'll get a text verification. And here's the point where you actually do need to make a, an important decision. So this is going to be your domain for your tenant. This is going to be on the back end of everything. You can add a custom domain later, but on the back end of all this, you'll have this environment. So use something that kind of fits your brain and your organization and your needs. Now, the first thing you're going to do is create the first account that's in your environment. So this is going to be the global administrator. Uh, you kind of think of it as the cloud version of domain admin account. Uh, this controls everything you will do be going forward. Make sure you check and read your terms of existence. And then you're going to hit sign up, and this will give you a 25 license, 30 day free trial to an E5. So put your domain in there. You're going to need to validate that you own this domain by creating a text record with your DNS registrar. So select text record, add continue, and then copy these values and then apply them at your, your DNS registrar as needed. Once you've done that, go ahead and verify. No, this could take a little bit of time depending on DNS propagation. So be patient here. Once it's been verified though, you're gonna go ahead and have the ability to create your first users. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll create a couple of accounts real quick for demo. So let's go ahead and add users and sign the license. And you can also share this with them with uh, their existing email address already if they have one. So your next step is setting up DNS records for office services. So you'll have your exchange online protection records first. So go ahead and add these to your registrar as needed. Once you have your records put in, you're gonna validate those. Office 365 will do a check. And you may see this the first time if the record didn't exist yet. So just wait for DNS propagation, validate. Once propagation's been done, you can validate that you've owned the information. You can choose to send information to your organization about Teams already. We haven't uploaded our new users yet, so we'll just wait. All right, and then you're done, and you get dropped into the Admin Center. So in the Admin Center, you can get here through admin.microsoft.com or through portal.office.com and then hitting the Admin link. And then you'll have uh, all the different Admin Centers that are going to be available to you. So your Exchange, SharePoint, Teams, Security and Compliance, uh, Azure Active Directory, each one of those things then as you want to manage and maintain those, you can jump into those specific admin centers. So we'll grab the Exchange one real quick. And then see, this is the place right where you're going to manage your Exchange online presence. So managing mailboxes and Office 365 groups, your mail flow rules, uh, create migration batches, and all those Exchange type functionalities are going to exist here. So like if you click on mailbox, you'll get all the list of users that you have on your mailboxes and see what kind of mailbox type they have, if they have archives, additional information like that. Of course, you just go back to the main portal at any time. Show all, you can see different configurations. So say you want to check up on how you can go through advanced security. We have this nice little checkbox here, right? So we added a custom main earlier. You, how do you want to allow users to reset their own passwords, limit admin access, you know, things like that. And then you can basically just run through this list on, on how to help get your environment up and running. The other thing I'd like to point out is the security center. You can come in here and then right this is where you're going to manage your, your ELP, your e-discovery records management, information governance, things like that for your environment. And then back right in the admin center, you want to add users and management. You can go ahead, add groups through CSV files, add them manually. Uh, in our next part of our video, we'll talk about how to add them from your existing Active Directory environment. But at this point, right, you have your cloud only accounts, you have your Office 365 environment set up and ready to go. You can start leveraging the, the functionality and scale of all the tools that are available to you. So I hope you found that video useful and a quick intro on how to get ready in Office 365. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget that Enterprise Software Solutions is your number one software dudes.